Hey everybody, this is Brian with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. And today I have a very special guest. I have Tantric with me today. Hell yeah. yeah. That's all, T! <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for spending this time with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks. And before we get started, if you wouldn't all just kind of mind introducing yourself and what you do in the band. Uh, I'm Hugo. I'm the singer for Tantric. Okay. I'm Jared on bass. <laughs> John on drums. Sebastian Labar, I play guitar. <laughs> awesome. Oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> His name is the one that rhymes. You know, he's got. That's be perfect. That's perfect. Well, right. Everybody else was bad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> exactly. So actually, you guys are going to be playing the Ding Bats in, in New Jersey tonight. Yeah. And you're in the middle of a tour that you've been on for a while. So. How's the tour going so far? I uh, tour's always going good. That's where we're the happiest of being. Okay. You know, yeah. We're, we're tour dogs. We're literally the definition of of, of the, the the term the Rolling Stone. I mean, we're never stopped. We're always touring, and uh, we love what we do, man. It's good. It's good. A good thing. Nice. Better than swinging a hammer. That's true. That's true. Most definitely. Yes. <laughs> and you guys have been around a while. You've been successful. I mean, I remember your breakdown. Yeah. You know, that song was incredible. You've been riding strong ever since then, so... I don't have any of the money left from that. <laughs> <laughs> so if we, we play on Spotify, does it help you out a little bit? <laughs> Hell, somebody. We're not sure who. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Guns N' Roses, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. There, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So how have you guys kept it going for as long as you have? I think that we, we're probably one of those bands that that uh, that, that knows how to tour, and, uh, and it... You know, we tour just immensely, you know, just sheer numbers o over over what, you know, a band like Metallica would have to do in one, sure. one gig. But, you know, even if it wasn't about that, I think that we'd get really frustrated being home. And uh, we're, we're really happy in, uh, being on stage. And, and we're very close as friends as well. I mean, for many, for many of the years before, when all of us kind of had, like, sporadic homes and what we were doing, I mean, even on our downtime, like, in between... Uh, you know, you have a week off. We just be like, you know, screw it. Let's just hang out. We just park in, uh, you know, RV park or something. something. So we have a we have a good time, you know. And that's I think that's the most important part. It's like a marriage of people, and and we, we like each other more than we dislike each other. <laughs> and I'm the one that sleeps on the couch. Somebody has to. He's freakishly tall, you know. <laughs> so you guys, I believe it was your seventh or eighth album you released last year. I, I think it's actually more than that. Okay, but. Uh, you know, it's it's up for debate because, you know, if you count the EPs that we released, because we sure. did a few EPs, uh, like a uh, uh, Broken Down, which is an all, all in plugs, and then we did uh, the Blue Room, uh, Blue Room Diaries, uh, okay. Blue Room Archives, and that's kind of like a, not really a, you know, these weren't full length records, more like, you know, little little side things that we did, but uh, yeah, other than that, it could, was it, is it the eighth? I don't even know. I think it was the eighth release, right? Because there wasn't like maybe. Yeah. Was it Blue Room? Yeah, that wasn't really. I, I mean, right. it was released, but like, right. yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll go with eight. Hey, we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty good. One every couple of years, you know, every two or three years. Nice. Now, are you guys working on new music right now, or? Always. I think okay. individually we all write, and, uh, and, and then the stuff that kind of like fits this kind of uh, parameter or. Or you know, genre. I guess we kind of submit to the table at the end. You know, the guys wrote a lot of the stuff with me on the last two records, and it was kind of like that. You know, uh, Sebastian would have like just guitar riffs, and you know, we'd send them in, and I'd do my little thing on them. You know, just basically lawnmower voice throughout the whole thing. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so is that usually how it starts? You guys start with the music itself, and then add lyrics to it, or? Uh, it, it varies. Yeah, okay. It varies a lot depending on who started the idea. Like Hugo has his own method of of, uh, of writing, yeah. which is obviously works. Um, like me and Jaron usually work well together with just like developing ideas. Yeah. We've been bandmates for so long. Sure. Um, John also like kind of brings a whole different great aspect to like helping develop that as well. But you know, it just depends. We're never too short on ideas. <laughs> but um. <laughs> but uh, you know, like uh, a lot of hip hop artists, you know, they'll you know they'll buy a beat and and then they'll just you know they'll write over that beat. Sometimes that that type of technique works with 
with music, except it's, you know, obviously progressions. Sure. <laughs> when it is um, <clears throat> more so than a beat. And, uh, you know, they come up with, like, oh, this is progression. I'll be like, that would be good for a verse. And, you know, it all comes together. But it doesn't always come together the same way. Sure. It, it, you know, sometimes the riff will inspire the melody, and sometimes the melody will inspire the guitar part and all of those things, you know. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, what would you guys say, like I said, you've been on tour for years. I mean, yeah. you've been on the road. What's the toughest part? Of being on the road of this life. Going home. <laughs> you know, so you really <laughs> love tour. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, well, this is home for me. I mean, when you tour so much, it just becomes your normal. Okay. Yeah. So then when you go home, is that's like the uncomfortable time. That's like, oh, wait, this is weird. This isn't what I yeah. know. Day sure. day yeah, you go to a grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't get a different Mexican restaurant every day. Right. <laughs> like, there's not a runner. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, those bands that really complain about touring are like, oh, it's so hard. I mean, I don't really find it that hard, honestly. I mean, that's me. I mean, I like to do it. I mean, there's times where we have long drives in between cities, sure. and that's difficult, both on us and the driver, and, and even when we're alternating, because, you know, we don't need those professional drivers. Stop. We do that stuff ourselves. Why waste the money? Yeah. Yeah, and then we sell money. We sell, <laughs> we sell tacos out of the back of the bus. There you go. <laughs> what do they call that? A, a side hustle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But well, no. like I said, you guys have been around for a long time. I mean, people have known you've been fans for a couple decades. Yeah. What do you want your legacy to be when it's all said and done? Man, I, I don't. I don't know. You, you can go ahead and answer that. Uh, that Brock Jones was the superior artist in our. Rock Jones is not real. <laughs> I mean, you may say that. I, be- I believe in Brock Jones. So I do I. I believe He's strongly in Brock Jones. Listen, Brock Jones is just a myth. Everybody I would knows. say from an outside point of view, the legacy is to obviously connect with the fans and give sure. them something to relate to and feel and, you know, experience. And I think uh, Hugo does a great job with that, with the lyrics and the way that the music comes together with it. Um, I feel people, rather than just playing a song, they're, they're feeling it and experiencing yep. it, and I yeah. think that's a lot of our fan base. Yep. I think so that, that is forever. To add on to what he was saying, I think that one of the one of the greatest things uh, for all of us, I think, is is knowing that that music that we've written now, you know, eventually becomes part of people's lives and it intertwines with it and a soundtrack to it, yeah. and therefore for years to come. That song will put you in that place at that time and that year, which it does for all people that listen sure. to music. Now, uh, I don't know that we all went into it thinking, hey, this is how in depth this is going to be and how it's going to, like, you know, be exponential and how it affects people. And honestly, you know, after I'm gone, whatever happens, you know, but, uh, uh, we're, I'm enjoying it now. I think we're enjoying it now. And I think we, we make good decisions as far as, like, you know, this is stuff that we're proud of. We, we don't put out shit, yep. and uh, and we don't just put it out to put it out. You know, so like, you know, we won't, when it's time to write, and we're, we're time, we kind of all look at each other, and we're like, oh, it's, it's time to go, and, and we do that, and we nail it pretty quickly. Nice. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I've had many incarnations of members in, in this band, and they all, and all in the past, they've all contributed some, but I think it's, it's by far the best working uh, and, and creatively and supplementally uh, group that I've ever had. Sure. And being the fact that they're a little bit younger, just by a tad bit than me, uh, it, it keeps me, like, young in, in that aspect where, I'd, like, I still remember that. And, you know, people sometimes forget the passion that it takes to create or do something that is got a million odds against you. And trust me, on a good day, you've got a million things against you. And you're fighting against that grain, and uh, and you really have to have this thing that drives you sure. to like, or you know, it's got to be the love of of performing, obviously, but also it's got to be something more in it, and uh, you know, that that sometimes fades away in, in, in a lot of bands that get us, you know, successful and, and kind of lazy into the uh, thing and and teach them to, to each their own. We haven't had that luxury, but. Even if we did, I, I like that sure. aspect of it. Nice. And that kind of goes along with what I wanted to ask you guys next is if there's a new band coming out or somebody's thinking, hey, this is what I want to do, mm-hmm. what is some advice you give them? 
I mean, obviously, there's a lot of joy, but there's things you sacrifice. Don't. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'll tell you what, I, I wouldn't trade my life for anybody's ever, and my life's definitely got its own struggles. But so does everybody's life. Sure. But at the end of the day, I would, when I go to work, like that would be the place where I would go if I wasn't going to work. You know, so that's that's a great thing. But and I think that's the most important thing. Not only just making a music, anything you do in life, if you you have to do something that. Uh, that you love because it's not always going to love you back as a matter of fact most of the times it doesn't right and uh, and if you if you love it you know it makes those other times a little bit easier you know the best things in life are free exactly and that's a true statement in many ways yeah so I work bus, hard at it this bus was not free <laughs> that's why I charged you that 150 for the interview we, we, we were going to put that on oh yeah <laughs> well guys thank you again so much I really appreciate your time and before we go, and of course, we'll put links down below so you guys know how yeah. to find everything for them. Yes. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to fans before we go? I'd like to say... Kind of pass it around to everybody. Personally, I'd like to say, if, if you're a fan of something, and uh, especially something in the creative field, support it by, you know, whether you go to the shows, whether yep. you... Because they, you guys are the blood that, that kind of keeps us alive and keeps everything alive. A lot of people just assume, hey, you know, those guys, you know... It's like voting. Everyone counts, and, and with attendance and people being interactive with the bands, every single person counts. Nice. Yeah. Anybody else? I would just say thanks for coming to the shows. We uh, have plenty more to come, so yeah. catch you on the summer tour. We've got some dates with Smile Empty Soul, we've got Silver Tongue. Yeah. We've got some festival stuff. So Our Patreon too. Uh, and you know what we should uh, we should also uh, mention is that. We, we run our own social media. This is not okay. anybody running it for us. So when you come and you ask us a question, we there's somebody answering. That's one of us, you know. So and I can attest to that because you reached out back to me. So yeah, we, we try to do that as much as possible. These guys are really good at it, you know. I have to figure out how to turn on the computer. Like, <laughs> back in the day, you had to wind it up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's great. Awesome. Well, again, guys, thank you so much. Thanks, we really yeah, appreciate it. it. As always, thank you guys for spending this time with us. We love you all. God bless and rock on.